All right, guys, we're back. NFL section is live. Okay, so the question we have for you today is, would you rather start Nick Foles or Carson Booby Wentz? We'll tell you next. All right, guys, we're back. Better than ever. The big DSC is here. It's a daily sports dosage, daily football dosage, and daily basketball doses. We are live, like Bruce Buffer says. Okay, so we're going to start with the best part of the football this time of year. Is It's like almost, like, like what, is, what does Scott Hansen call it? The witching hour? of the, witching hour. But this is the witching hour of the season. Yeah. It's the best. No, this is playoff football. Yeah, no, I... Playoff. Yeah, playoff start this week. Okay, it's great. Exciting. Okay, so we have... Win and you're in, lose, you go home and play golf. We are having the Colts versus the Titans. We're going to give you our thoughts on that. So, DFD, the football guy. That's what I'm here for. Tell him. I'm here to tell you who's going to win. It's going to be without a question the Indianapolis Colts win by 14 plus. Uh, they're three point favorites in Tennessee, but Andrew Luck, you know what his record is against the Titans? Uh, has not career? lost. 10 0. Wow. Why is it going to change now? Oh, and is it Mario to play? Mario is playing her. And, and, and Mariota, I want to note this as well. He literally went on a radio show, like locally, and said, "When I got hit, my entire left side of my body felt numb. And I thought I was gonna fall off." There we go. So uh, he's not gonna play well. Yeah. Um, guys, don't be dumb. The Colts are going to roll. Chugga 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 chugga. They're gonna. It's like forty-five ten or something like that. What's the line though? Three and a half. That's it. Colts favored by three and a hook. Home dogs. Go get your 401k and take it out. Like, I mean, honestly, though, like, what is about it at Colts? No. Oh, okay. Tennessee. But but what about the Titans are better than the Colts? Nothing. Maybe you, their defense. But a home dog always, you know. And especially, like, in the playoffs. Yeah, that's, that's about covering. Home dogs is about covering, not winning. Colts might, or, you know, they'll be up by nine, a.k.a. the game's over. Oh, but so Tennessee you're saying Colts money line is an absolute guarantee. Colts money line. They're already in the playoffs. Can, I, can, can I just say something? Mariota's going though. back to Hawaii. So so me and DFD were hanging out on Sunday, getting our content ready for the week. Bruh. Bruh. We had the Patriots. What a absolute... Oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. They were, they were the first 14, and back... Door coverage was open that day. It was brutal. They Dude, it backdoor bonage. Yeah, Let me tell you, brutal. me and Kyle literally looked at each other. We're like, that just that didn't just happen. We like saw it coming. Yeah, the whole time. But yeah, you know what? No, no more, no more smallest violins. Get the bad juju off. I just, I just wanted to let you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You, oh, you followed the game with a good movie at least. Throw a little love. What? Sunday. Any even Sunday? No. Oh, Aquaman. Oh. We saw Aquaman. Make sure you see it. And make sure you check out my tweet on my uh, Instagram post because he looks just like at Steven Adams. <laughs> the same exact guy. Uh, okay, so we're going to move into the Fultz, the big dick Nick and poopy Fultz. <laughs> All right? Who are you starting no matter what? Even if Carson Wentz is completely healthy, say he has no issues, you start big dick Nick. No problem. Yeah. Carson Wentz is a bum, so I don't <laughs> say it, dude. dude I, I put this out there before this even has started. Will Carson Wentz always be in the shadow of Nick Foles? And the question, the answer is yes. He's going to be. For his entire career, Nick Foles is a god. He's literally going to get his fucking sta um, statue put up next to Rocky up the stairs. This guy's <laughs> loving it over there. I mean, like, why would you start Carson Wentz at any point of his career anymore? Are you looking at me because I don't have an answer? You don't. <laughs> you don't. You start Nick Foles, and Carson then Wentz coming stinks. into next year, I think you how can many game, How many games this year did Carson Wentz put up under 10 points? He doesn't look at the same guy at all. And you like, know why? Because he's one of those, like, you could see it his first year or two. He just runs so hard. He's near the sideline. He could go out like all quarterbacks would. He, just wants he tries to, to get that hit. extra two yards and get absolutely rocked. That's how you don't last in the NFL. I respect it. I respect the like the you know the heart, but like that you're never gonna last. So, if it's fourth and one or something, I can understand. Look at like RG three. Yeah, like, like all these guys. Like I know RG three is a guy. They'll do it example, first and ten at their own twenty, trying to get an inch. Seriously, just this is dude, no that's how we got hurt. He dove it in the end zone. Exactly. Exactly. Like, at least well, he was trying to like, score there. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, hey, did Carson Wentz go to South Dakota State or North Dakota State? Okay, so. Um, but yeah, let me tell you, I think that Carson Wentz stinks. You gotta start Nick Foles, no matter where situation, any place, anytime. Nick Foles you is gonna come. You know who lights it up? Like, you know anything in here? Carson, Carson Wentz. Wentz. Sticky <laughs> Boobie. 
Okay, so I think that Zach Ertz and Foles like have this connection. Oh yeah. Like, dude, Zach Ertz, he hasn't really been doing that. You know what's the worst about Zach Ertz? Ones. Like, I I should kind of hate him, but I love him. I like, like him. I really like him. Like he he he's married to the uh, soccer the soccer player. Yeah. DKD. DKD knows. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next section of the NFL podcast. The Pittsburgh Steelers are the, one of the most embarrassing franchises of the year. So they can't get a win. And we can talk about how Mike Tomlin needs to be fired no matter what. He's, he sucks. He's been underachieving for years. They need the Cleveland Browns to win this week to make the playoffs. I hope the Cleveland Browns get blown out. Dude, the Steelers have no purpose of being the playoffs. They're just going to back their way into it. Well, who, the, who do the Browns have? Uh, Ravens, Bengals. right? Uh, no, Ravens. The, the, the Steelers are playing the Bengals. Steelers the, play the Bengals, 14 and a half point favorites. Steelers already won. It's Steelers I heard that, I heard that exact th same quote against when the Steelers played the Raiders, though. <laughs> True. <laughs> that was 10. Uh, no, but like, what it really comes down to is like, why... Hey, are who we, do the Browns have? Uh, Browns Ravens. have the Ravens. If Browns win and beat the Ravens, then Steelers get in. If is the Ravens it Browns? win, it's in Cleveland. Can I tell you something in all honesty though? This is actually another thing I just thought about on the spot. If you are in the playoffs today and you have either the Cleveland Browns or the Pittsburgh Steelers, you want to play the Steelers, right? Honestly, it's, ha it's have to. Toss. You it's have to. The toss. dude. Baker Mayfield's been commanding the fucking offense been all year. No one. I know, but dude, they the have this like thing. Month, I know. They have this thing, right? I mean, like, don't you agree with that? Yeah. No, I don't they, know. They got the swag for sure. They, they definitely do. It's the swag that's gonna lead everyone like super optimistic going into next year's season. Oh, they're, they are. They have a chance. Oh, they're. They, this they is actually like that. Now, this is another thing that popped in my head. They're like the first team on Hard Knocks that did well. Are they like afterwards. the best mm. team in the AFC North? Or uh, them and the Ravens. Definitely, right? right? I, I, the Steelers. I think the Ravens are going to be. Steelers better. are if like. Lamar's, Steelers are at the top of the Superman ride, and it's about to crash. If Lamar Fast Jackson <laughs> stays on his path, <laughs> dude, the Ravens. The Ravens have never had a bad defense since I've watched football. And like, and 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 can be honest, they have a That's bunch of just like randos over there yeah. too. I mean, they have like they have like old reliable. Uh, the guy Eric who hates Will. Brady. What's the guy who hates? Who, what's his name? The guy who hates Brady. Suggs. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so Sir Ruggs just was the cross eye guy that just dominates. Well, the has been there, Played for like fifty years. Yeah, but he was on the Chargers. I used to yeah. love him. I, he just almost came to the Pats. He should have came here. We need you back. We need you. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to bring up for the NFL section? I anything? do. I got oh, a little something. Let's hear. Uh, it. I don't know if you guys saw the projected number one quarterback, Justin Herbert. What, from Oregon. Oh, okay. I New like York this. York Giants were supposed to scoop him up. That's what the projections were. He is going back to Oregon next year for his senior so season. So now he's number one. Don't know, but the reason he's going back to Oregon is because his little brother is a senior in high school. Is he going to play with them? Committed to Oregon. He's a tight end. Ooh. So the brother oh, sick. Cool. That kid's going to break all yeah. records for tight end. Like, tight he's shots. a four-star recruit, so he'll probably see the field. Um, so sure. it's it's going to be like Will Greer, though, right? Seriously, so. probably. Will oh, yeah. Greer's up there. there. Yeah, yeah. I mean... And can we like talk about how the the fucking Giants like just didn't play this entire season right? Like, no. dude, like I don't think Saquon Barkley's a bad player, but they should have drafted a quarterback. Now they didn't. Now they're dude, bad Saquon at the wrong is time. A goat. But who they, would you they have? Which quarterback over Saquon? Like, if you could go back in the draft, who would you take over Saquon? This is a DSD guarantee. No matter who you say, it it's can't spicy. be Baker. It's Darnold. Darnold is gonna be fucking good. So you would rather have Darnold than Saquon. Yes. Like, as a, on your football team. So you have no players on your team. No, on the New York Giants. No, on the Giants, right? The, okay, the, okay. Yes. Giants. So you Sam Darnold. But he would have sat behind Eli this Which year. is what's supposed to do. Yeah. They would have the same amount of wins. They, they would have the same amount of wins. Has not so made now. a difference in wins and losses. And then who He's a generational back. Be. Yeah. But fine, yeah. fine, but you sp yeah. fine, fine. You need a quarterback. We all know Dude, it. Sam Darnold is going to be the next year's Jared Goff. He's going to come in his second year that and dominate. That means you're saying the Jets are going to run. But it doesn't matter, dude. He's going to be better than what he was. Dude, you see, he has so much, like, potential. He I has he, potential. I agree. I'm, I'm I agree also. Side. I'm just saying Saquon is in the right direction. Hall of Fame status. Uh, but, like, dude, like, I'm I'm not saying Saquon's bad. He might be the best fucking running because I've ever seen play. He's awesome to watch. Like, I'm not arguing He's got the that. big old thunder. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Well, just have say, you seen that golf thing? Yeah. Where the golf is like, holy legs, <laughs> <laughs> holy say, thighs. Say the Giants next year are able to draft Tua hypothetically. They can't. No, yeah. next oh, year. Yeah, the year like after. The then, then, it was the right, then it was the right. Then it was the right. You got Tua and Saquon. Then, then it was the right pick, but it's, yeah. it's super hypothetical. It's if, yeah. Because now they literally just wasted two years of Saquon's. Potential prime because yeah. in football, running backs last for but, two years. But usually you don't have a rookie like this. Like those no, two no, years, I agree. He, he's only gonna get better. Like, but 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 can you say that though? Years, dude. Th there's so many times where running backs just fall off the face. Of I'm not true. saying he's gonna be like that. But would you rather have a you know middle of the road average quarterback that will be there for ten years and that will potentially be worth five six wins when you have a running back worth one or two? I mean, you see what I'm saying. I now. see what you're saying. I but, just, but the that, Giants but, are just like. But Sam Darnold has to be better. He can't just be what he did last year. If he like lights it up and throws a bunch of touchdowns, he just needs to take a, a step forward. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I think he's trending in the right direction. Definitely optimistic. For Josh the Rosen stays forward. I, I I'm, 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 I'm ready to say that. I thought Josh Rosen was gonna be awesome. He stinks. I'm. You, this is Josh Rosen for me and Josh Allen. They did this now. I'm, I'm yeah. a little bit bigger on Josh Allen. He has nobody. On Buffalo, but then, Ooh, the Josh Allen yeah. has no accuracy. Yeah, but he has not even receiver to throw. To. He's so in, like so 50-50 when he throws. Dude, ball, he can right yes. in the money. There was or literally like yeah. going to the next building. We were literally he watching the game. Yeah. He yeah. literally the guy literally sitting there like this, and he threw it like over yeah. here, and he was just like, I'm not even. And gonna he get had that. one where it was like he had to slide it right in between us and just. Pew, and, right? and, yeah, 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 like so, he's like, really like yeah, is, but yeah. and he's also a monster. Yeah, it's like six eight. Yeah, so like. I, I'm just sticking the intangibles there. So what it comes down to is that like the Giants made the wrong pick, but I see the talent though. The Saquon Barkley is so fun to watch, but how many wins is he attributed this year? This year, the same amount as Sam Darnold. I think the Giants made the right pick. Okay, you can you can stick to your guns. We've been arguing this all year. We, we really, really have. And, and, and then we're sticking <laughs> to our thinks, guns. He thinks Jared Goff's more important than Todd Gurley for the Rams. But definitely we're not, not. going to get into that. Definitely. Sean McVay is the most important. Yeah. He's the one pulling all the strings. I, for I think guys, Jared Goff yeah. is <laughs> not better than Todd Gurley, but as a running, a, he is more important to the team than Todd Gurley. Who's their backup for <laughs> QB? I don't even know. Oh, 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 actually. I actually don't know. All right, guys, we're all done with that animal section. Don't back me into a corner there. <laughs> DVD. <laughs> um, all right, guys, so we're ending the section today. That was awesome. A lot of random shenanigans today. Make sure you're commenting, liking, and subscribing, telling all your friends, family, aunts, uncles, dogs, cats, kids, rats, all of them. Bunnies. Bunnies. We love you guys. Thank you so much. Make sure you're telling your friends. Go DSD.